Aries, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, doing something that you love. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say today, but hope you guys are doing well in good health and good wealth as always. Uh, let's get right into it. For my Aries, all right, on the split. We're just going to see what spirit has for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. We do have choose your path, direction guardian. So Aries, there could be new pathways opening up for you, right? Um, new ways about going about things, new ways of doing things, new directions that you're considering heading in. I'm seeing new um, opportunities arising for you. Spirit, what do you want Aries to be aware of at this time? See here, see beyond the current situation is what showed up. So there's definitely um, something here that you're going through that spirit wants you to look beyond, right? Don't get um, caught up in just being stuck in, in what it is. Kind of try to see beyond, right? See further down the line for yourself because time is always moving, right? What it is today is not what it might be tomorrow. So try not to get stuck on, a, on you know, a certain way of things always being this way. Because they won't always be this way. Change is coming. New paths are opening up. But also with this card, I'm feeling an energy of, like, planning for the future. Or maybe even envisioning what you want, right? For yourself or the direction that you want to head and some of you guys could just be seers you know psychics mystics energy workers but you're definitely being encouraged to look beyond something right see it for what it is what it could be and yeah this there's something coming up aries about really just moving in a new direction we have the traveler card and this card literally just says move in a new direction. So, yeah, there's an energy showing up where spirits like encouraging you. Go, you know, head in a new direction, take a leap of faith, maybe. And it doesn't have to be physically moving. You know what I mean? But it's definitely like a transition of energy that's showing up for you at this time. Um, it could have to do with anything. But it's showing up twice for you. So it feels important. Something about heading in a new direction. Um, I'm going to take a look at, yeah, judgment on the split too. Time to decide. But we're going to take a look at what's showing up for you. We're going to take a look at the energy showing up, your energy, energy outside of you, your energy, and then um, kind of like what to expect moving forward or the outcome. So we're going to first start. But taking a look at the energy showing up that's outside of you. Person, place, thing, situation. For my Aries, what you got? What's showing up in Aries' life right now? What you got, spirit? Anything else? Um, <laughs> we got all cups bottom of the deck we got the king of wands so aries there could be um someone showing up for you that is very attractive to you right something that someone or something that is really um inspiring right creatively this could have to do with your passions this could be another person right a king of wands sort of energy somebody that really stands in their authority, is attractive, is vibrant. Um, and I say that because what showed up, we got the Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. These energies feel good. So something showing up outside of you, um, it feels genuine. You know what I mean? This feels like a genuine connection. Um, something that feels really good on an emotional level playful, exciting, right? And so it could be this King of Wands energy showing up for you. And I'm just getting a sense where it's like, 
not only is it someone that's fun to be around or interesting to get to know, but there's like depth. This is a king of wands that has a lot of depth within themselves, right? Within their, on an emotional level, somebody that's showing up and being real. This also could just be cause something that is um, worth celebrating. You know what I mean? Like the situation itself, something that's worth celebrating. And it seems to be reflecting back to you. Um, a sense of emotional value, right? Something that genuinely kind of reflects back to you what you how you show up in it, right? And so this energy could be seeing you in a very valuable, valuable, in just a way that is, is genuine and real. Valuable for sure, but not only is this energy showing up in that way, but it's like, it's showing up this way because you show up for it that way, you know? And so you might start to see within certain relationships or connections um, more love, you know what I mean? A lot more love, maybe love even deepening because this feels like very intentional, right? So whenever you're connecting with this energy, whether it be a person, place, thing, hobby, passion, it's like there is genuine love that's invested and reflected into it. And so it just feels like something that your spirit, something that is aligning with your spirit the energy outside of you. You know what I mean? And it feels really passionate. It feels um, stimulating. And and also with this King of Wands, this could just be somebody that, you know, you find very attractive, you know, or someone that you find to be, yeah, that you're just drawn to. You know, they have a very strong presence about them. They have a a solid character, you know, they know what they want, they go after it, They somebody that brings life, you know, to situations, circumstances, or that you feel alive around, um, which feels really good. And Aries, how is your energy showing up currently? And it doesn't have to do your energy showing up and the energy showing up outside of you or Two different things. Okay. For my Aries. Thank you. We got the Knight of Swords on the bottom for you, Aries. So this is definitely like a card that, you, that knows what direction they want to head in, right? The Knight of Swords is all about taking action. It's about kind of being really decisive and, and quick with where you're heading or why you're heading there, you know, very, almost like, it feels like following your instincts, I want to say, with this Knight of Swords, so you could really be following your instincts about something here, because what showed up, we got the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands, this is a very revitalizing energy, Aries, so with the Six of Swords, I'm seeing here, you definitely choosing to head in and to move in a new direction, but not only that, to move to a more peaceful or more calmer direction, right? So like with see beyond your current situation, I'm getting a sense like maybe right now things are not so simple or you could be, you know, going through certain things that are testing you, but there's a sense of like you, your energy showing up, not choosing to be stuck there, you know, not choosing to stay in places or environments that create that conflict for you. You know, I'm seeing a very moving towards your passions, moving towards inspiration, moving towards things that do bring this sense of like newness, you know, to you. And so with the Ace of Wands here and the Hierophant, I'm seeing you kind of commit to a new path or direction. And this could have to do with a relationship right? Things getting more serious within a relationship on a deeper level, but it also could have to do with you um, finding something that inspires you, finding something that, you know, makes more sense to you on a spiritual level and aligning with where you're at spiritually more than where you were, you know, at this time. 
this feels really good. Um, but there could just be a lot more passion in your life, right? Whether it's with another or with what you're doing, what you're creating, the direction you're heading. It seems like your excitement, you know what I mean? A very excited energy that you're showing up with. Moving to more peaceful or calmer waters, right? Traveling in a new direction for sure. <laughs> so Aries, where are you going? Where are you heading? Seems like you know. <laughs> And uh, can I get a likely outcome for the near future for my Aries, the foreseeable future? Pretty good energy, Aries. I like it. Feels like just revitalized. Feels like being around people that you want to be around and they want you around, you know? Or finding your place. It doesn't have to be people. Finding your place within certain energies that feel good to you. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. One more. There he is. One more. Q. That's what I like to see. Every bottom of the deck. We got the King of Wands, so yeah. All right, what came out? We got the Ten of Wands, Temperance, and the Empress. And this really, Aries, is showing me an energy of really finding balance. Finding balance, but also finding your power or reclaiming your power, you know, within yourself, within your being. Attracting abundance, you know, attracting or birthing even new creations, new timelines where you're desires are being fulfilled and met your perseverance for whatever it is you're investing your energy into is being your perseverance is being rewarded by the divine in some sense here you know with the temperance card the ten of wands and the empress this is a very um you're being encouraged to be patient in this outcome aries good things take time Great things take effort, hard work, dedication, and time. You know what I mean? And I see you manifesting great things for yourself here, Aries. I'm going to be really, really real with you. I see a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of growth. But I also see this kind of balancing of maybe um, staying dedicated to something, putting in the effort, and also balancing kind of your energies, your own energies within when it comes to putting in the effort to close cycles, complete goals, you know, to persevere and manifest what it is you truly want and being treated or seen in the way or the light that you deserve to be. This is a nice energy. But again, something keeps showing up about balancing the energies within and then knowing your worth and attracting that by not giving up. I see positive outcomes for you, Aries. <laughs> um, let's get one last card from this Oracle deck. For my Aries, we got Healer on the split. Some of you guys are amazing healers. You're in a process of healing. Um, the universe is encouraging you to keep showing up and doing your work. <laughs> keep showing up, doing your work, whether it's for others, yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's all, it all circles back. In the same way, we're helping. What we got for you, Aries, we got strength. This card says, everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Aries, there is no falling down. If you fall down, you're the type to get back up. You're the type to know their power because of all of the things that you have been through, continue to go through, but more, but more so overcome. You know what I mean? Rise above. You're rising to the occasion in many ways, and spirit is going to be rewarding you, Aries, um, with good relationships, good energies outside of you, new directions to head in, people, places, and things that are going to commit to you the same amount of energy that you commit to them. You know what I mean? And use your strength to your advantage, right? All those things that you've been through, persevered through, use that. Use that as fuel to this new beginning for yourself. Because it's going to 
it'll take you far, I want to say. One last card for my Aries. Heart's Desires on the bottom. To me, that feels really aligned with the Empress card. The energy of it. But it does say that the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. And that's what I'm talking about. And for some of you, music is going to be, music's being highlighted, right? Energetically. You got the music card. So your, connect, your connection to music is healing for yourself and for others. So go dance, you know, listen to your favorite tunes, create, be a part of music in some way, shape, or form, simply because it can just bring more joy into your day and your life. <laughs> but Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys soon. If you want to follow me on social media or anything else, links will be in the description box below or my about tab. Um, and I'll see you soon.